Welcome to Ready or Not. Ready or Not is an intense tactical first person shooter that pretty much simulates you being a SWAT team with the buddies going in, or AI of course, going in and saving hostages or eliminating a threat like a bomb or, you know, an active shooter. We're going to barricaded suspects at a home. What do you think about that? That's fuck. So when you first load in on Ready or Not, there's actually like a cool little lobby you get started in. You can customize your weapons, you can mess with your attachments on your gun and stuff like that. You can also go to a firing range as well, like in the little spot you spawn in, which is pretty dang cool. And uh, yeah, Caleb ha had some fun doing some other things, which uh, was interesting. Mip, clear this out, clear this out. <laughs> Dude! Okay, well. <laughs> Where'd you go? He just despawned. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that, you bro? What, dude? So, on Ready or Not, you got a lot of unique locations that you can go to with unique scenarios. So, for example, there was this house just on a normal street you can go to that's barricaded suspects and stuff like that. And then on this other spot, you have a car dealership you gotta go take control of. And then on this other spot, you literally got a house up in the hills where this guy is a serial killer at this house, and you gotta go in there raid it and like kill all the people guarding him and take him down as well which is very very cool so you know what we did we headed to that house for the serial killer up in the hills oh bro we're outside yeah we're trying to get the murder suspect bruh oh bro he's up in this crib <laughs> he's up in his crib what do you think of his house Shoot that gap right there. I guess you didn't like that. Open up, motherfucker! So you know, after failing to capture the uh, serial killer after a uh, explosive fail, we decided to go back to camp and uh, change up your equipment because you can actually change like from a flashbang gun, you know, to like to a breaching shotgun to stuff you can bust down doors with to make it actually way easier and like way better for certain scenarios as well as night vision, different helmets, different armor, all kinds of stuff. So after we regrouped. We decided we were going to head to a barricaded suspect down in the middle of the city. And John, let's just say John went in on him. This honestly may be the best case idea <laughs> I've ever had. Nice, dude. Ow! Did that hurt? <laughs> yeah, bro. We're fucking busting in. <laughs> oh, <no! laughs> Yo, he's strapped. He got the AK. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's behind the door. But oh! Where am I getting shot from? Oh, to our left! So after making our way to the house and actually into the house, once we got in the house, we were actually met with heavy resistance that John handled in his own ways, to say the least. You good? She didn't drop her weapon. Dropped her ass. <laughs> really? Oh, fuck, she's screaming. Oh, bro! Get up here! I am! <laughs> oh, I got her. Oh, she's still alive! Bro, I was oh. lighting up the- Oh, 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 oh! God damn! Get up here! Now, I'm out of ammo. <laughs> Hold up, I got con concussion grenade. Oh, 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 fuck, he's dead. <laughs> One thing we really also liked about Ready or Not is it's really communication heavy and team dependent. If you and the homies aren't focused up, and you swing a corner or something, these bots can sometimes hit some gnarly shots. These dudes will 180, one-tap you right in the head. Kinda crazy, so you gotta really be like- observant of where you're going and be ready for the worst at every second in this game which is cool it actually makes it challenging a bit in certain ways and uh, john decides you know it'd be a good idea to uh not do that and you gotta also clear every single corner which is obviously common sense you know but sometimes you know you just like to run a little quick by something that doesn't end too well i'll go i got the right bro i have to unlock this so i'm gonna pick it it's clear it's clear it's clear it's clear okay what 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 what's that Dude, that's not clear. <laughs> I'm in here. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, it kills me. We got the dead officer laying here. <laughs> I also wanted to mention, and ready or not, there is a ton of cool mods. You got custom maps and pretty much everything, and it adds a ton to the game. So, for example, me and the boys, but we went on like a um a house out in the middle of the forest, which was actually really cool. You can go down in a supermarket, you can go anywhere you want, pretty much, which is really really cool. But we decided to go to the post office next, which actually had armed individuals in there. So. You know, we were a little concerned going in there, but we were ready for what was about to come. Postal service, barricaded suspects. We're going to the post what office, else? Johnny, you ready? Yes, sir, I'm gonna get some packages. Bro, I just got hit by something. My bad. 
Is that you? <laughs> Clear! Watch me wallbang this, don't go in. Bro, there's a guy right there! Tony! Tony! Oh, they're right behind this door, bruh. Right behind this door. Bro, he dropped my ass, bruh. I couldn't even <laughs> see him. Also on Ready or Not, once you get injured, say you get shot in the arm, right? Or the leg, or somewhere vital. You'll start bleeding and you actually have to go back and patch yourself up and also that area will still be slightly affected for like the rest of the round. So for example, it feels like, if, at least it feels like if you got shot in the arm, your gun will sway a little bit more than it did before, which is actually really cool. So after all the havoc that has been caused by us, you know, trying to survive and neutralize the threats, but us getting neutralized, we decided to head to our final location, which might have been just the biggest job yet or location, I should say, we were heading to a huge hospital. And let me tell you, there was so many open corridors, doors, it's just, it's a hospital. Imagine how many open areas there was. It was absolutely insane, and it didn't end too well. Yo, okay, just... Watch out, watch out. This is the room we've already been in. Okay, come here, come here. Let's clear this yeah, room. Bro. Ready? I'm gonna open it, ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? Yeah. Let's go, boss! Yeah, there's two of them, bro! Why are you taking out civilians, bro! Oh, bro! You killed that guy in the cuffs? Oh, I must have killed him, bro! <laughs> what do you mean you must have killed him, bro? Oh, no! But we had so much fun playing Ready or Not. This game is an absolute blast. And there is a ton of content, because you got the base content, which has a ton of levels in general. Then you got the mods, which adds... Mods pretty much add unlimited gameplays. You guys, I'm sure, know mods add tons to games. But you guys, I definitely recommend picking this game up. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys would like to see me check out any other games, me and the buddies, or just me in general, check out any other games, let me know down below. We'll definitely have to do that. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like. It's would be very much appreciated. I greatly do appreciate you guys watching. If you stayed to the end, thank you, guys. I'll see you in the next video.